informal work contributes to about 50% of India's G GDP and 90% of uh, women in paid work are in informal sector. Most of these women are home-based workers, so their home is also their workplace. And so a need was felt to establish a specialized organization looking at the needs of habitat and habitat improvement. And that is how MHT, Mahila Housing Trust, was started focusing on women, empowering them to be able to demand for the rights and services that they need. A lot of the behens that we work for, which translates in English as sisters, they are employed in textile, kite making, making edible food products at home and then selling it, uh, uh, f vegetables, uh, sorting uh, at home and then, you know, uh, going and selling as vegetable vendors. When they have an employer, they can be hired and fired very easily. Most of the time there is no employer, they are self-employed, so they are working for themselves, which leaves them out of the ambit of any social protection, no medical insurance, no pension plans, no saving plans. And these were the things that MHT looked at, particularly from a habitat perspective. So if I'm self-employed, I don't have a credit history. Who gives me a loan? So if I, even if I have the money and I need some support to build my house, I have no one to go to because I am not considered formally credit worthy, even though I know I'm credit worthy and I can borrow and I can pay that money back. And our, uh, you know, behens have demonstrated that by taking housing loans and repaying uh, uh, back. So while in India, we did have a large microcredit, uh, you know, uh, movement in, I would say in the 90s and the early 200s, but uh, they were largely focused on income generating loans, whereas housing is seen uh, technically as a consumption loan. And that is uh, also a space that MHT has filled by providing uh, housing loans through its other affiliates and also credit cooperative societies for housing improvement. Because a lot of time they don't want to go buy a new house, they want to invest in improving uh, uh, the house and we consider and one of the key advocacy that we have done is to make a case that housing is a productive asset. Almost all of our women use the house as a workplace and our role is to ensure that they are not left behind in India's journey to the 5 trillion economy.